Hey you guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be sharing some of my favorites. This is also going in the whole favorites of 2021, but these will be trickling and going with me into the new year. So, you know, same difference. And these will all be beauty favorites. So we're gonna be talking skincare, a little hair care, some makeup, etc., etc. So if you want to know more about that, then please stick around. Okay, so let's first start with the lippies. I feel like in the age of the pandemic, who's who's buying lipsticks? I'm certainly not trying to buy a beautiful lipstick and just have it smear all across my mask. So I feel like I've had to strategize and just stick to, you know, the stains and the tinted lip balms and those can be tricky. I think especially for people with deeper skin tones, it's really hard to really trust these kind of like your lips but better products. But I found two this year that I've really enjoyed. The first one is the Dior Lip Glow and mine is in mahogany. I've seen, seen people with really fair skin tones wear this and it looks beautiful and I'm wearing it right now and I really like this product. This is definitely like a Zoom go-to product for me. Like this is something I put on right before a meeting I might have and I just think it does a nice job of actually moisturizing my lips that a balm should do, but also having just that slight, you know, tint to just like liven up, liven up the face or add something a little bit more to the look without being too overpowering or too pigmented. This is definitely my most loved product of 2021. The next product I have is in the same line, but just slightly more pigmented. And that is the NARS Soft Matte Tinted Lip Balm mine is in dangerous affair and i have also thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this product i really like wearing this more so um, maybe on a night out or when i just kind of want to add like maybe a more sultry look i love what this does sometimes when i'm just like something is missing from my look this is a really nice deep brown color and it feels really comfortable on your lips i like the formula of this and again i feel like in these pandemic days i'm looking to two products that i can build up or just simply swatch on because i'm about to put my mask on and i think that this is a nice product for that the next two products i use literally every day the first one that i use during the day is the naturium naturium Phyto Lip Glow Balm. This one is just in clear. This does a great job of like moisturizing, hydrating, and adding a nice glossy effect to my lips that I just love. And I think that for what it is, the price is good. I mean, you know that some of these like lip gloss balms can be 25 to $30 and this one is just 10 bucks at Target. And this is my second tube. I it just does everything that I want a daily lip product to do and it's always, always by my side during the day. And then a huge game changer for me as someone who used to like experience this like seasonal eczema on my lips has been overnight lip masks in general. And the one that I'm using currently and that I've been loving is the Bite Beauty Agave Intensive Lip Mask. I thought that it was like a ridiculous price to pay for lip masks, but I do think the product has paid itself off and I still have so much more left to go. So I do think that it's been worth it in that sense, but also it just feels so nice to glide on my lips when I'm getting ready for bed and I wake up the next day and my lips are just nice and pillow soft and I really like this product a lot. Sticking to makeup because that's actually not a lot of stuff that I have um the first product for my face is this dior amber neutrals palette i love this palette this is the palette that when i'm traveling it's the only thing that i'm going to bring with me eyeshadow wise i can even use this color right here on my brows i use it often i think it's a beautiful stunning sunset palette and i really like dior's makeup because it feels like a step above 
no makeup makeup and I tend to like that look more than I like a no makeup makeup vibe like I'm just not gonna wear makeup like if, if it really comes down to it I just won't wear makeup but if I am wearing makeup I do like to just have it go a little notch up and that's what I like about Dior's look in general the next one i actually just purchased this year or last year now during the sephora sale and that is the giorgio armani neo nude melting color balm cheeks and eyes and normally when it comes to cream blushes i find that a lot of them just have this really waxy oily consistency with a little bit of pigment in it and really what you just get is like a blob of oil on your cheeks and it's not my look some people really enjoy that i've personally been on the orange blush wave i think that it shows up beautifully on dark skin but i was missing like these plum berry purpley colors and i actually think this is a really nice daytime color on me and on my skin tone and it's also something again that you can build up with and it just shows up so flush and you can just pack it and pack it on. I really love this color and I really like the texture. Next product is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop. This one is in 21. Um, I previously had the Glossier Skin Tint and I've also, the first foundation I ever actually bought was the first original Fenty Beauty foundation and I really liked it but at that time I really wasn't a true makeup wearer. I was someone who just like did winged eyeliner and lipstick every now and then and that was pretty much it. It has enough coverage but it still has your skin peek through and it doesn't have a super hyper glowy finish to it. I think I'm kind of over the like super dewy super glowy look i just want things that dry down to a natural finish so i appreciate that about the skin tint because again a lot of skin tints just put in a lot of foundation and a lot of oils in it and i understand that you know that's what people like and what they're on but for me who's not really gonna powder down or anything like that I appreciate a formula like this. Okay, what should we move on to? Let's quickly do, let's quickly do hair care. So you guys know, or most of you guys know that this was the year that I, or last year was the year that I decided to do the 30 day hair detox. And so these two products have really changed the game for me and they were completely new to my natural hair journey in general i've never used products like this before so the first one is the do mousse def i think if you are in this bubble of the 30 day hair detox i am black girl black girl curls and all of this you will definitely have heard of this product it really adds that extra oomph and also um that extra bit of i don't want to say well, it really is definition, right? It's definition. And so it just defines the kinks that's already there though. It's not gonna give me any looser looking hair or anything like that. The next one is a detangling brush. And this one is the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. I was a finger detangler just like forever because I didn't believe that a brush with all of these would actually be easy or simple and it really is it actually really really is and i enjoy it i haven't had any breakage issues with it also i stay on top of my trims and all of that now but actually i'm getting a trim today but it's just been really simple and it's an easy tool and again feels really intuitive as i'm using it so i really like this product okay let's move on to skin care because you know that's really my bag that's really where you're gonna see my money go to within the beauty sector of my spending <laughs> let's start with body care because i only have one and that is the la roche posay lipicar lotion i found that i don't like thick creams i'm not a thick cream person anymore i i find that light 
lotions that are fast absorbing. If I apply them while my skin is damp, it's going to do wonders. And this just leaves my skin feeling so good. La Roche-Posay uses shea butter and that's really, I feel like I feel that creaminess of it and it's really nice it's fragrance free and my skin feels amazing let's go on to toners so one you guys have seen last year if you watched that video and that will be the ren ready steady glow this is an empty i just love this product i love ahas and this product is amazing I feel like whenever I use it the next day, I just, I, I look at this bottle and I'm like, you did what needed to be done. My skin really does look radiant after I use it. I feel like it helps with inflammation and just doing that resurfacing that AHAs do so well. I was going to repurchase that and then I was actually sent the Kalaluyaha gentle aha exfoliator from crave beauty you guys again if you know or have watched any beauty content i love crave beauty and so this shouldn't be any surprise this was just one of the products that i hadn't tried from them and i finally have it in my arsenal and it's a great go-to i feel like it's gentle but it still does have a punch to it and does the job and anytime, again, when it just comes to glycolic acid and AHAs, I love AHAs because you wake up with just a beautiful glow. This is not something that I use often. It's something that I use um, maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks, something like that. Just when I'm feeling like, let me just use this. AHA toner, that's really how often I use it. Let's go to cleansers. My favorite cleanser of 2021, and I still have some of it left, is the Bioderma Soothing Micellar Cleansing Foaming Gel. This is just so cost effective and does the job of cleaning my skin. And that's why I love it. That's literally it. It's fragrance free, it's gentle but it gets the dirt off. The next one is here for round two or round three or whatever. And it is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting Cleansing Gel. I've loved this product forever. I really should finish it this year. I don't think that I should have it past 2022. This consistency is so unique and you don't need a lot at all. And I'm telling you, I'm going like, a fourth of a pump and that's all i need that's literally all i need from this and i also love that anytime i use this i wake up the next day and i'm like my skin looks so good today and then i think back to what i did and it's this right here okay let's get into serums again this is the great barrier relief now this is new packaging and i believe that their focus in doing this one was that in the old packaging, you get to a certain point where you still see the product, but you can't pump it anymore. It just won't do it. So I think that they solved that problem with this one. I mean, this is just a go-to product. I've talked about this so many times. I love Crave Beauty and this is one of my top favorite products of all time. The next one is one that I've had a journey with and that is Faded by Topicals or My Topicals. And I've actually learned to really appreciate this. I think one huge tip when it comes to skincare is that if your skin barrier is compromised and even you're getting to a point where the most gentle products are stinging your skin, you really can't have an accurate, you can't have an accurate opinion on the products that you're using at that point. And so I think that when I was using this, I wasn't even cleansing my skin properly. And so I had my doubts about it. But now that I've sort of solved the cleansing step of my skincare routine, this product really gets to shine and it has really, really helped with my hyperpigmentation. I love azelaic acid, so there's that in there too, and I've been using this every night. It's a nice serum. It stinks, like most people say, it stinks pretty bad, but I actually feel like my skin feels 
seems more evened out and that the dark spots that I have because I do have quite a bit of that are really really um getting resolved another game changing product for me like absolutely game changing is the ordinaries niacinamide 10 percent and zinc one percent do people still use the ordinary or has that ship like sailed i really love the serum i again niacinamide was one of those products that i didn't think did anything for me because i had such a compromised skin barrier at the time that no product was actually going to do much for me and i think i'll make a video more so on like giving skincare advice on how to manage your expectations and how to manage your skin and where it's at but this has really helped with congestion i used to also think that i had more so dry skin than i did oily skin and so i didn't think that niacinamide was for me because a lot of people associate it with oil control and i was like well i don't deal with that but for some reason this has really helped with the texture i used to have i used to have these like clogged pores i don't even know but it's not there anymore since I started using this. So I really, really think this has been a star product in my 2021 and moving forward, this is my second one and I will always, 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 always have this with me. All right, let's go to an essence because an essence is actually new to my routine as well. And that is the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. I thought I was dealing with premature wrinkles basically it, especially on my forehead i was like why like i'm globbing all of this moisturizer on i'm putting all the serum on i'm slugging i'm whatever and like i don't know what's happening and this has really 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 helped me realize oh i just needed to add like a hydrating step um that wasn't so heavy and pore clogging and so this is nice and light and it feels great. I use it morning and night. I love this product and how it makes my skin feel and how it layers with other skincare products. It's just something that I will always be in my steps. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this product. Next is an unsung hero. I feel like it doesn't get enough hype. And that is the Vanity Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer. This is really interesting because it is such a loose watery consistency but it packs such a moisturizing punch as i mentioned i've fallen off of these creams i realized that creams really weren't what i needed for my skin i needed something that was more so hydrating and moisturizing and not so thick this is probably my third bottle it's super cheap you can find vanna cream anywhere and it just does the job it's great for sensitive skin i mean i don't know there's something really amazing about this product and the way that it's able to be the consistency that it is and you think that your skin is going to be so dry but it just it keeps that moisture in ah, love it and then the last product that i also bought um in 2021 is the garnier brightening serum cream this has spf 30. i love this product again it's nice and light but still packs a punch um my skin feels nice and like moisture has been locked in i also am looking to really tackle the hyperpigmentation and dark spots that i have so i appreciate that there's vitamin c in here as well and I'm very surprised by this. I learned this from Tiara Wallace. That's where I found out about this product. And I think it's a gorgeous feeling formula. It feels great on my skin, glides really nicely. And I also think makeup sits really nicely on top of the sunscreen. So I love that. Whew, that was a lot of talking. I feel like when it comes to the beauty products that I have now, I have one of each. I don't have more than one sunscreen right now. I don't have more than one face moisturizer that I use at night right now. I don't have more than one uh, 
toner. I don't have more than one essence. You know, I have what I need in this arsenal and the consistency is really what matters. So that is what I will leave you with. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and any questions you have, any products that you love or maybe you don't feel the same way, let me know down below and I'll talk to you guys later.